That shooting has increased concerns among some about the biggest retail shopping day of the year. All eyes, of course, on Black Friday and Black Friday sales. But law enforcement experts tell CBS 11's J.D. Miles tonight that your eyes should also be on your surroundings when you hit the stores and the malls to go out and shop this weekend. Diana Reyes says she's always been nervous when she goes out, even on routine trips like this one today to a Dallas Walmart. I'm the kind of person that's per perpetually on alert. I'm always like looking at, at my surroundings. Like I don't even like going to movie theaters. Tuesday night's deadly shooting inside of Virginia Walmart only amplified her fear. It's a tragedy any time of year, but when it's so close to the holidays, you know, it makes you hold your loved ones closer. It makes you scared to shop like I'm about to be. As North Texans prepare to fill shopping malls and retail centers this Friday, there's a reminder to be attentive and vigilant now that mass shootings are on the rise. Unfortunately, we live in a world that is different now. We have to think about some things. Andy Harvey is a former high-ranking Dallas police officer and South Texas police chief who's now retired. He says everyone should go into a crowded place already prepared to make one of two choices if confronted by an active shooter. And that is to fight like hell or run like hell. And what I mean by fight is use everything in your body and in, in your control and your disposal to fight off the offender. And you don't stop until the threat is completely gone. Harvey says police departments usually increase their presence around retailers during the holidays, which helps deter violence and crime. Some customers tell us they would like to see that extend year round. I think uh, we need to have more uh, security, armed security. The recent mass shootings may encourage more North Texans to carry firearms when they shop. Especially in Texas, there are a lot of people that, that are carrying concealed handguns. And, and listen, if something like that were to happen, we expect them to, to, uh, to, to show up, right, and to, uh, and to do something about it. We've also seen several active shooter false alarms at area malls and the state fair, which can be dangerous as well. That's why the best advice is to be aware of your surroundings and calmly report anything suspicious. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.